I'm Nasma Abdul Mohsen and this is the Evening News. In tonight's headlines, World Bank has approved a grant of 6.5 million US dollars to Maldives to support the strengthening of the public financial management PFM system in the country. Former President Mohammed Nasheed voices his objection to former presidents being given heavy privileges. And the deadline to accept Zakat al Fitr has been extended until 19th of this month due to increasing number of people making the Zakat payments. World Bank has approved a grant of 6.5 million US dollars to Maldives to support the strengthening of the public financial management system in the country. According to a statement issued by World Bank on Tuesday, the project will help strengthen the government institutions to make informed decisions on fiscal adjustments in an efficient manner, which will impact the economy of the country positively. It also stated that while government's key policy priorities and objectives are set out in the government's manifesto, translating these into a medium-term development strategy and program calls for a high level of fiscal discipline. According to the statement, the proposed PFM system strengthening project aims to contribute to this long-term and overarching goal by addressing the most urgent PFM weaknesses. The statement further stated that the project will help enhance budget credibility, transparency and financial reporting of central government finances. Opposition leader and former President Mohammad Nasheed has voiced his objection to former presidents being given heavy privileges. In a tweet posted by Nasheed, who is also a recipient of the privileges, he has voiced disfavor against the state granting privileges to former presidents, citing that the current former president's privileges act was passed on the wishes of former President Gayoum. Nasheed has made the comment in reference to a bill proposed by Wilfushi and Piriyaz Rashid which outlines the circumstances where a former president may be denied or exempt from all privileges and immunities. The bill was submitted to the 17th parliament three times, only to be rejected each time. However, this time the bill has been submitted without any amendments. While Nasheed has expressed support for the bill via Twitter, it's noteworthy that he had been most vocal in complaining against being given the privileges. Although he did not complete a five-year term, he already receives all privileges and incentives given to former presidents. According to the current Former Presidents' Privileges Act, former presidents must be paid 50,000 rufia per month with 75,000 for those who completed more than one term. In addition, a former president must be paid 50,000 rufia as living allowance and 170,000 rufia to run any social work or charity they initiate. The state must also take care of the former presidents and their spouses' health insurance and security. While former president has said that he does not want the privileges, it is noteworthy that he is taking all privileges available, despite not even doing any social work. Currently, there are three former presidents, former president Ma'mun Abdul Qayyum, former president Muhammad Nasheed, and former president Dr. Muhammad Wahid. Deadline to accept Zakat al Fitr has been extended until 19th of this month due to increasing number of people making the Zakat payment. Islamic Ministry said that due to the increase in number of people making the payment, deadline to pay Zakat has been extended until Saturday, the 19th, and that Zakat distribution will begin on the 26th of this month. The Ministry also said that those who are entitled to receive Zakat and could not enlist for various reasons will also be able to get enlisted on Saturday, but the opportunity will not be given again. Zakat will be issued in Mali by Islamic Ministry and HGC as well as Vili Mali Office. According to the Ministry, Zakat recipients can send someone else on their behalf with their ID cards to collect the Zakat. This year, 
8,145 people have registered to receive Zakat al-Fitr in Mali. Last year in Mali alone, over 13,000 people had registered to receive Zakat. A Maldivian Umrah pilgrim has died in Saudi Arabia on Tuesday night. The pilgrim has been identified as 54-year-old Abdul Rahim Hassan of Farlo Maget Ba'e the Fushi, who had gone on the pilgrimage with Sufar Hajan Umrah group. Abdul Rahim died on Tuesday night after he had been at the mosque after concluding Isha prayers. His funeral was held in Makkah yesterday. While 93 Umrah pilgrims went with Sisilfer Group, 50 pilgrims have gone with Maldives Hajj Corporation this Ramadan. Housing Minister Dr. Mohamed Moizu says that while 15,000 people have taken application forms for the government's home ownership program, only 1,500 of them have submitted completed forms. Speaking at a press conference held on Thursday to provide information on Housing Ministry's current projects, Housing Minister Dr. Mohamed Moizu said that only 1,500 people have sent in their forms so far before the deadline ends next month, and that while 930 of them belong to Category 1, 530 are from Category 2, and only 15 people have applied for Category 3. Meanwhile, the contractor of the housing project to be carried out on the loan given by India's Exim Bank has recently arrived in the Maldives. Application forms for the home ownership program are now being entered and processed. These applicants will not have to apply for any further stages. So these applications will be carried forth and considered for other social housing programs as well. So I urge as many people as possible to submit forms this time. The housing minister said that funds will be issued next September for those applicants who are eligible to receive the Islamic facility loan. He said that the loan scheme has received great public support with over 5,000 applications being processed at the moment. He said that 200 million rufiyah will be allocated for the Islamic facility loan scheme in next year's budget. This year, we set 100 million rufiyah for the scheme in the budget. But the value of these 5,000 forms goes over 300 million rufiyah, which means there is tremendous support for the Islamic facility loan scheme. So, we are considering to set 200 million rufiyah for the scheme in the next year's budget. This scheme, I believe, is one which truly empowers the citizens in the context of housing. An individual is given funds to build a house in whichever way he wants in his own land. In addition, harbour construction projects will begin in 10 new islands this year. According to the minister, the first island whose harbour construction project will be handed over to a contractor is Rafano. Maldives has once again condemned Israeli airstrikes on Gaza, calling the UN Security Council to take swift measures against ongoing Israeli aggression. Foreign Minister Dunya Mamoun said in a statement that Israeli airstrikes on Gaza should pose great threats to the international community. She therefore said that the UN Security Council needs to take swift measures against it and that it has already been delayed. She said that Maldives is extremely concerned about the atrocities being committed by Israelis in Gaza, leading to the death of innocent Palestinian children, women and men. She also expressed distress over the fact that countries across the globe have failed to take adequate measures to stop the atrocities. On Sunday, President Abdullah Yamin also issued a statement condemning Israeli violence. He had even spoken to Palestinian President Dr. Mahmoud Abbas over the phone and stated that no nation can truly understand what Palestinians are going through and said that he will continue to pray for the country. Foreign Ministry had also issued a statement before condemning the attacks and called the Israeli government to respect international human rights laws. And with that, we conclude tonight's evening news. Thank you for watching. Have a very good night.